good afternoon. Welcome to the Moy Vision. Another Morley Vision story. I'm Rajan. And I'm Gadir. And we are your hosts for today. Today we're going to be talking about the world's greatest shave in COVID-19. Gadir, what are your thoughts on the world's greatest shave at Morley Senior High School? I think that the world's greatest shave was a successful event as the school got together to watch. How about you? I also think it was great because we had raised over 11,000 in donations. Now we'll see what everyone has to say about the world's greatest shave. Morley Senior High School was involved in the world's greatest shave on the 16th of March 2022 and we have conducted a list of interviews overviewing this event. We are proud to say that Morley has donated over $11,400. Two teachers and six students had participated in getting their head shaved. I think it's a good cause and it's a positive thing to do. I think it's a good cause to start raising, not start, but like raise money for people who are ill and have cancer and leukaemia. Look, it's uh, one of the many uh, fabulous fundraising events that can occur not only at school but elsewhere. And uh, yeah, fundraising for a great cause. I think people shaving their heads is absolutely liberating. I think it makes them feel better and it makes them feel like they just got release of some good energy at their heads and it helps them create and raise money and awareness. It was pretty scary, definitely, um, but also exciting. I didn't really have too many thoughts, I was just pretty nervous overall. I think the school did raise a good amount from what I've heard. Uh, I think they raised a relatively good amount. Well, they, yes, they have raised a good amount over the years and this year was a, a superb effort because we had one student in particular who was, uh, was very close to them and they, they raised a huge amount with the support of uh, others in the school. So it was a really huge amount this year, so a fantastic job. Well, I saw the poster up and I just knew that I wanted to support people with blood cancer. I've had a buzz cut before, so I thought it wasn't... <clears throat> it wasn't that much of a sacrifice. Well, my dad and my mum passed away of cancer. Um, well, my father recently passed away of cancer and my mum passed away when I was a baby. No, I personally wouldn't because I love my hair, but I find people who do brave. Probably sometime in the future, maybe. Um, otherwise, not at the moment. I like my hair at the moment. <laughs> I'll, re I'll donate money, but I wouldn't donate my hair just yet. Uh, my hair's thinning, so it's probably getting close to it by itself, but uh, I would perhaps consider it if I really wanted to support the cause wholeheartedly or even more. See, of course I would. Yeah, anything for a good cause, isn't it? A lot of relief, yeah. Felt really good around the school, walking around. Just not, not wanting to hide it, just showing everyone. Um, yeah, I felt really good after. I know that it's donated to a really good cause. Thanks for watching our video on the world's greatest shave. Many people had participated and it was a successful event as we raised thousands to donate. We hope the event occurs again next year. Thank you. Now that we've seen everyone's point of views on this story, we'll hand it over to our newsreader, Coel. Welcome to the Morley Senior High School News Desk. I am Coel Arisho. Breakfast Club. Tuesday and Thursday morning, before school, get down to the common room for a bite to eat. Year 7's Big Day In. A reminder to all Year 7 students that permission slips for Big Day In are due week 9, Friday 24th of June. Homework Club. The current session for Homework Club is th Thursday 3.30pm to 4.30pm. The Homework Club is available to all students of all year groups at Morley Senior High School and it is an opportunity for students to complete work in the library with access to library resources. Student Assistance. No substitutions to be made except if student is absent or has a test. Only tutors are allowed to make changes. Students are not permitted to swap with other students without tutor permission. 
The replacement must not be a student who has been an assistant in this current round. If the student has a test or an assessment and cannot be student assistant for this period, he, she must negotiate and confirm a change with the tutor. Student assistants are to report to the student service desk in admin at the beginning of the specified period. Thank you. That's all from the news desk today. Back to our program with our host, Rojan and Gadir. Thank you, Kalal. Our second Molly Vision story will be about COVID-19. Rajan, what are your thoughts about this topic? Even though COVID-19 had a great... Mm, fucked up. Even though COVID-19 has become a less of a concern, it still had a great impact on many people in their daily lives. How about you, Gideon? Yes, same. Especially last time when we had to come to school with a mask, it got really irritating. Now I'll see students and staff's opinions on this story. In this week's news, we'll be interviewing teachers and students about how COVID has influenced their lives both inside and outside of school. My name is Miss Morrow. I teach in the media and photography area of the school in the arts department. Yeah. My name is Lloyd James Silva and I'm a photographer, filmmaker and relief teacher. My name is Mr Heyman. I'm a visual arts teacher. I also teach screen and media. My name is Miss Bess and I'm the music teacher. I'm Kiana from Year 11. I am Samuel McKinnon and I am in Year 7. Um, yeah, I usually travel a lot when I play Ultimate Frisbee overseas. I've been able to do that since uh, the start of 2020. I had a trip planned to play uh, in Boracay in the Philippines and that got cancelled. Covid has made my business, fortunately. So, because a lot of stuff has gone online, um, I was very fortunate that people need content, video, production and photography. Um, only slightly. My parents live down south and they recently got COVID so we weren't able to go see them. Yeah, it definitely has affected my life. Now, I've not, I've not caught COVID, I'll say yet, because I think it's almost an inevitability. Not in a big way, but I did have to quarantine when my brother got COVID. Um, I'm more careful about public spaces. I think they're doing as much as they can. I think we could have more access to hand sanitizer. In general, because I'm a relief teacher, I think every school's tried their absolute best in regards to COVID and trying to making sure they're keeping things clean and safe for everyone involved in the buildings. Yeah, I feel like the school's doing an alright job uh, in protecting the students. I think they've done as much as they can. I mean, um, uh, when it first started spreading this year, I thought there's no way I'm going to avoid getting it. Uh, not um, really, no. In the classroom. Yes, definitely at school, lots of people have it at the moment, but... Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, I do a little bit. I feel like last term there were a lot of people away with COVID. Yeah. Um, just personal hygiene and just keep your distance and make sure you're wearing your mask properly. Um, wear your mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. Um, just keep your mask on and social distance and definitely stay home if you're sick. You should wear a mask and make sure to wash your hands and sanitize. And that's all we have for this section. Let's continue on with the news. Thank you for watching this episode of Molly Vision. We hope that the 11s and 12s did well on their exam. Also, we wish luck to everyone that's going to the parent-teacher conference. Thank you and have a good day. Hey guys, thank you for watching Molly Vision 2022. We hope you have a good day and enjoy the rest of your year. Rick and Riz. Your body's so high, see, see, bounce, see, see, dance.